Hey everyone! I hope you all are doing well and today in this video I'm going to show you some of my favorite Amazon makeup products that I got in the last like three months. I have never like shown these products on YouTube. I mean maybe I have a few of them but I usually show them on Instagram and I'm always ordering off of Amazon. I love Amazon so much and these are in my Amazon storefront under my beauty favorites. Every single one of these. Now if you go to my Amazon storefront and order anything on my favorites list I do earn a very small commission just to let you know. So I just wanted to tell you that. And if you're wondering about my makeup today, today I have on the uh, ColourPop That's Taupe eyeshadow palette. So that is on my eyes today. And for my lips today, I have on the ColourPop Lippy Stick in the shade Parker. And it's a matte, but I put a gloss on top, so it's glossy. <laughs> So I'm just going to show you each one of these products and you've probably seen me talk about them on Instagram but first one is the NYX Born to Glow Liquid Illuminator. So I love this. This is the shade, I believe it's the lightest shade, yeah Sunbeam and it's kind of like a pinky tone. It's really nice. So what I do is I'll put this on my cheeks and then I'll put like a powder highlight on top of it. But it's also really nice if you put it underneath your foundation. Like before you put your foundation on, just apply a little bit on your like cheeks, chin, forehead, and it will make your foundation a little bit more glowy, which I'm all about the glow now. Like I love to be super glowy. <laughs> so this is really nice. Another product is the Catrice. Um, illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Now, they have a smaller size you can get on Amazon, but I love that they made like a larger size because this stuff is my favorite. It really changes the way your skin looks after you apply all your, you know, foundation, concealer, powder. It really makes your skin glow. Like, I absolutely love this. You want to shake it before you apply it. It even says it, but... It just is so awesome. Like, it will make any, like, matte foundation look a little bit more glowy and hydrated. This is good stuff. <laughs> I highly, highly, highly recommend this one. Then I have this that I got not too long ago. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Rose Glow Hydrating Illuminating Primer. Now, it looks like this. Now this is really nice. It does give your skin a glow and it just makes your skin look very vibrant. And it does, I think it does have a rose scent. Yeah, it has a slight rose scent and it does have like a dropper. But yeah, this stuff is really good too. Like there are so many great glowy products out there. <laughs> so I do love this stuff. Another product that I always have to have it's the Neutrogena Stubborn Acne AM Treatment. It has benzoyl peroxide in it and it has 2.5%. This stuff is good, really good. Now if you like get a little pimple or something, you just apply it. I usually like to apply it at night instead of the morning, but you can do whatever works for you even though it says AM Treatment. It's just a benzoyl peroxide spot treatment. It's really good, but be careful because it can bleach your towels or anything that you have if you wipe your face on it. Like sometimes, you know, I've had like different benzoyl peroxide face washes and I'll be like splashing the water on my face and if any water from that drips on my shirt, like my shirt gets bleached, which is not good. <laughs> so just a warning if you're using any benzoyl peroxide. All right, moving on. So I got this foundation recently and it's the Maybelline Green Edition Super Drop Tinted Oil. Now this is really nice. It gives you like a nice light to medium coverage. 
it has a dropper as you can see it drops it's really good though and I have the shade I believe it's the lightest shade I don't even know if it says the shade oh 010 that is the shade I wear but it is a good foundation it's not matte it's more of like a glowy natural finish it's not like overly glowy or anything but it's definitely not a matte foundation but it's good stuff I haven't heard a lot of people talk about it but it's only like eleven dollars it's it's good another foundation I got recently it's the Revlon color stay 24 hours combination oily skin I have not tried this in so long I remember everyone talking about this back in the early days of YouTube and I remember when I used it it did not have a pump and everyone like was so annoyed that you had to like you know you had to like pour it and like it was a whole thing but this is still as good as I remember it being it's a you know fuller coverage foundation it has SPF 15 it's a matte finish and that is actually what I have on for my foundation today but obviously I used glowy product so it's not looking as matte as it probably is <laughs> next item is the elf luminous putty primer now I love the normal elf putty primer and I really wanted to try the luminous one and as you can see I have used this and it does give a nice luminous finish to your skin and I don't know it's just it's just really good it you know primes your skin for foundation <laughs> and these are two of my favorite concealers I just have different colors in them this is like the concealer I always always use so I have one for like spot concealing anything on my face and I have one for underneath my eyes so I have 330 which is ivory and then I have 340 which is fawn so they're very similar but one is a tad bit lighter as you can see hopefully you can see that but this is really awesome full coverage concealer and I have it underneath my eyes today and spot concealed in certain areas so yeah that is that is my favorite 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 concealer I'm always repurchasing this I've had it in darker shades like during the summer lighter shades in between shades I've had them all and this is my go-to concealer moving on so this stuff is amazing I am in love this is the organic rose hip seed oil now you're probably thinking oil with acne prone skin how does that help but this stuff is amazing rose hip seed oil has so many benefits so I always apply it before I put on any foundation sometimes I'll use it as like a night treatment as well and it just makes your skin look more like rejuvenated it helps with like blemishes and acne rosehip oil has so many benefits and it does really like sink into the skin so your skin isn't like just sitting like with tons of oil on it it really does absorb into the skin so I love this stuff <laughs> and I love that it has a pump as well now another product is the this is the kiss I envy super strong hold eyelash adhesive so this is eyelash glue and it is black but this stuff is like super strong like your eyelashes will not budge with this and that is what the brush looks like it's a glue so this is not liquid eyeliner but yeah this stuff will keep your lashes on all day and it's very affordable and it's good stuff very good stuff <laughs> so I use press on nails I paint my, I glue on my nails and then I paint them and do whatever I want to them so I always pretty much have you know press on nails on <laughs> and the glue I use people always ask me like how long my nails usually last with these on they usually last like a week a week and a half sometimes two weeks and I do have my hands in water like I take baths I do dishes I wash my hands a lot so 
this is the glue I use. They have like a three pack on Amazon for like $10, I want to say. It's in my beauty favorites, but this is called the IBD Brush On Nail Glue. So I love the brush on nail glues. So this is what it looks like and it is strong. It's going to hold your press on nail on and it's the best. <laughs> so that is the nail glue I always, always, always use. I don't use like the cheap nail glues. I have to use the IBD. It's, it's the only one I will use. <laughs> okay, moving on to some of my favorite um, lip liners. So I always overline my lips. I love overlining my lips. I'm not one for like lip filler or anything like that, but I love, love overlining them. So my favorite lip liners, I have the NYX lip liner in beige, which is a nice neutral shade. It's in beige. I don't know if you can see it, but I'll just give you a swatch of it. So this is beige. It's a really great lip liner. And these are f affordable, like three to four dollars. And then this one is another one that I absolutely love. It's the next lip liner in Peekaboo Neutral. Peekaboo Neutral is more like, I want to say it's more rosy than beige. And then I have this one. What is this one? Oh, this one is in pale pink. I don't use it that often, but it is a nice like pale pink shade. And then I have this one. So, a weird fact about me, if I drop like a lip lip liner, eyeliner, I pick it up with my toes. That's what I do. <laughs> but this is the NYX Professional Retractable Lip Liner in, I believe this is like a red shade. Red. It's just called red. So, this is like a twist up kind. So, it is for and you want to do a r nice red lip so it is stunning so that is my favorite favorite lip liners now eyeliners I've been into recently is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio gel pencil liner I have two this one is in smooth walnut and it's a brown shade I like brown liners depending on the look but this is a nice brown shade then this one the cap just fell off I have to pick it up <laughs> is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio gel pencil liner in striking navy so this is a nice like you know navy shade so I love those liners and they actually stay on your waterline all day and you can like smudge them out on your lash line or whatever you want to do with them but you can smudge them but they'll also stay put as well so it's really great then this is my favorite liquid eyeliner it's the NYX epic ink liner and this is what the brush looks like on it that's what it looks like but you can do like a really nice line with it and it's super black and that is what I have on for my liquid eyeliner today and I believe that is all the products that I wanted to talk about but don't worry my Amazon store link will be linked below so you can check out the prices to everything and all of that I love Amazon Prime Amazon Prime is my jam so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I plan to do more videos in the future. I actually am going to do more like gameplay videos too. I know not everyone plays video games and that's okay. You don't have to watch them. But I finally fixed my OBS and it's perfect now. Like the last video, the last gaming video I did, it was not right. The sound was off. The game was like laggy. But I got the perfect settings for my computer specs and now OBS works amazing and I changed the settings in my games and they work amazing now so I'm gonna definitely definitely do more gameplay videos I also am gonna stream on Twitch my Twitch will be below as well and another thing I have been doing a lot lately is 
doing get ready with me's on TikTok Live. Like getting ready on TikTok Live from start to finish, skincare, makeup, hair, it, doing it all. It's so much fun. Now the reason why I like TikTok Live better than like Instagram Live or YouTube Live is because I can play music in the background and I won't get copyrighted and I can have more moderators and all of that. So make sure you follow me on my TikTok. Everything will be in the description and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye everyone!